What's going on, y'all? My name's Yanni, and uh, over there is Kevin, our producer, and this is the lovely Miss Isa Charles. Hello. Part two of our interview that I promised you guys a while ago. Uh, we're finally going to get into it. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. So, again, once again, we have Miss Isa Charles. Isa, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm blessed. Happy to be here. Happy to be here with you. You know, um, so I know last time we talked, it was back in like March or April, back mm -hmm. in the spring. Um, it's been a few months now. So what have you been up to? Many murals. I'm racking up to the point where it's almost, I'm almost at 25 murals in South Carolina alone. Jeez. And I've been traveling to neighboring states, just doing other mural jobs. And now just trying to take care of more of myself. And just getting back to my start of just creating for myself so people can see new work that I have in my head. <laughs> I hear that, man. I hear that. It's always good to do something for yourself sometimes, you oh, know, because yeah. a lot of times we give a lot of ourselves to other people and we forget, you know, we have to take care of us, too. Exactly. Um, so talk about some of the murals you've been up to. They say 25? Yeah, it's a lot. Jeez. I actually just launched my website so you can go on there or just type my name in Google mm -hmm. and it'll show you my mural um, tour. So you can just find <laughs> You can Google her. Google me, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, so it's really fun and there's so many that just come out. I know um, y'all probably seen the one on Gervais Street with the black excellence with little boy and girl. Mm -hmm. Um, I just revamped Immersion with the Red Ring Roll Away, and there's just a lot of private murals I've been doing too, so some you won't be able to reach, but they've gotcha. been fun to work on as well. All right, all right, I hear that, man. So it's, it's good that you're staying busy, man. Yeah. Like I said, you deserve all the success you got coming to you. Um, one thing I did want to talk to you about is uh, the puzzles of color. Yes. <laughs> Talk about that. What you got going on? Um, so Puzzles of Color, I started with them last year. They were a black-owned puzzle company because they saw that growing up, they didn't have puzzles that looked like them to mm -hmm. make. And their parents always bought animal ones or just generic right, ones so right. that they could still do it. So they chose my um, Black Boy Joy um, paintings as one of the the puzzles and it actually sold as the best one ever so they used my painting for their amazing. business card wow. and everything that and have y'all seen bridesmaids yeah yes y'all know the the lady who's getting married mm. yes she's coming out with a tv show on hulu and guess what artwork she wants to have featured on her show what? <laughs> check my girl out man oh Yo, that's crazy yes I that's just so found sweet. out a few days ago. She literally just sent me all the paperwork to sign the release form to have it displayed. So I don't know how they're going to incorporate it in the show, but they want that. And there's also a show coming out on Netflix called Puzzle It. Mm -hmm. And they want to use um, Puzzles of Colors puzzles on the show for the contest. So my artwork will be featured and there, And naturally, too. they want the best-selling puzzle yeah, ever on the website to be exactly. on the show. That is crazy, that's man. That's crazy. Congratulations on all that, Thank man. Thank you. So super like, y'all don't realize, like, we talking to a young millionaire right now. <laughs> that's crazy, like, bro. That's crazy. And uh, speaking of the Black Boy Joy and uh, the Black Excellence you have over on Gervais Street, I noticed kind of a trend in your drawings. Like, the, the people you draw, mm -hmm. are they inspired by somebody? Um, a lot of them are inspired by family members, mm -hmm. but I also like to just use kids that are from stock photos and I just revamp their faces to whatever I want it to look like because when a kid walks past, like, some of the murals I have around town, they'll be like, that looks like me, Mom. Yeah. I don't want them to be overly cute or something that you don't see on the street every day so a kid can just relate to the story that I'm trying to tell. So yeah. I try to keep that same theme going with all my artwork. Yeah, like I said, I noticed it. I noticed the pattern. Like, they're not, like, unrealistic. You no. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, they, they seem a lot more natural like a regular exactly. kid. So. I like that too, man. It doesn't give because, like, uh, like Instagram and the world of social media, you know, it gives like this unrealistic, unrealistic view of what you should look like and everything. So to have somebody look like what you look like, mm -hmm. you know, I think that feels good, and especially to start at such a young age, exactly, when they're impressionable and vulnerable to those types of things. So, commend you on that too, man. Thank Just, you. Um, speaking of that, um, you know, like I said, with the social media and stuff, um. A lot of people, they, they feel like, you know, not enough sometimes or mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to say like less than, but definitely like, you know, they can't be perfect like everybody they see online. Um, do you think that there's something 
in your artwork that could help you know these people these kids and everything with my artwork I think the number one thing that it showcases like I always say with my mission saying paying positive vibes on the canvas of life right I also want to showcase the fact that when you're creating it's with emotion a lot of my stories aren't always happy but they have happy endings mm -hmm. so when people look at my work I just want them to say say to themselves I don't have to be good to be happy I don't have to be out of a situation to be happy I find happiness in the small things mm -hmm. and just build from that even if it's just looking at my artwork or just grinning for two seconds it releases just endorphins that help you get through the day definitely so I just want people to know that it's like a pick-me-up when you see my art. You might still be stuck in a situation, but right. at least you have something to make you feel a little good. At, at least for that for that small fraction of time, you know, you know that there's something better. Exactly. You know that, that you, you can't be happy. To, yeah. You know, you can not be happy, even if you're not in throughout, this, you know, exactly. your whole life. At least you know that there's a chance, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I think your artwork does exactly that. Like, it inspires people to do Keep more. Pushing. And like, uh, what 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 like would you do? Like, if you're ever feeling down like that, is there anything like you like to do to help pick your spirits up? I actually took a break two weeks ago or a week ago. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I took a week off and legit turned my phone off and just went to. I did a staycation. Mm -hmm. I actually stayed at Hotel Trundle down the street from here, yeah. and I stayed there for a week. And I just would walk go to a ramen house or go to a fresh market or just do something and then I left on Saturday so I could just walk the market right. and then go home so I just wanted to just take a break from everything because just giving so much of yourself even if it feels good mm. is draining and then you don't Definitely. realize how much you need Definitely. so it's not selfish even though I feel like it's selfish <laughs> um, you can never feel like being yeah. selfish taking care Sometimes, of yourself is not selfish yeah. right, right. But it just Sometimes like people that. confuse selfishness with self care. Exactly. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's so all it is. You gotta protect your energy. Exactly. Definitely. So I definitely did that and I feel a lot better because when the holiday seasons roll around there's so much going on. Right. Hey, <laughs> back to back. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and just just talk about what taking that break, what unplugging your life, what it did for you and your energy. It allowed me to enjoy the silence and be able to talk to myself because when you're out in public trying to deal with other people, making sure they're good, you're dealing with customer service all day long. Yes, you're never right. That's true. <laughs> so Always. it's just being able to just make yourself happy, go out. Oh, I like this dress. I'm going to treat myself a little bit. Give me a slushie or something. There you go. Just being able to just do something for you, not thinking about anybody else. It's just nice. It feels like... You're just on cloud nine, nothing going on. It's like you're a kid again. You Definitely. ain't got nothing to worry about with what color crayon you want to color with. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> For a week. So I definitely, I'm going to do this like every three months at least. Okay. Because it's just getting so busy. I'm only one person and I got to remember that. I hear that, man. And I, I feel like that's important that you do something for you, you know what I'm saying? And make sure that you know what you can do to make yourself happy, you know? Because right. mm -hmm. you don't want to get lost in you know, pleasing everybody else that you forget who you are. Exactly. Because then you're stuck with trying to figure yourself out, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you know who you are, you know how to take care of yourself, exactly. which is the most important thing. You know, customers are important. Customers <laughs> matter. They do. You know, we love our customers they and do. everything. But, you know, if you're not able to do it, you can't have a customer. You exactly. know what I mean? So I just, you know, that's, that's very important for me to point out and for you to point out that um, even – Isa Monet, you know, gets tired. Exactly. You know, so like, um, if you're struggling or if you feel like you're getting tired or anything, you're not alone at all, you know. So find something that you can do to make yourself happy or learn who you are, you know. Because I have a friend, in fact, that uh, sometimes she feels like lonely and everything like that. And I just told her, find a hobby, mm -hmm. you know, find something to do that brings that joy. Exactly. You know, I actually sent her one of your paintings. Really? Too. Yeah, <laughs> man. The little guy um, yeah. doing the Michael Jackson move. Mm -hmm. I sent her that and she laughed at it. And then, like, just that laugh, you mm -hmm. know, like you said, releases those endorphins and releases, you know. A sense of joy for that moment. Yeah, something man. to cling to when you were down. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and what else, what else do you have going on? I have a bridge mural coming up in West Columbia and um, two sidewall murals going leading into West Columbia. There's a lot of murals coming up, um, but my most recent are going to be at a lounge next week and 
um, I'll be in New York doing six murals for the youngest millionaire in New York. So be on the lookout for all of that. And I'm also going on hiatus. So if y'all don't see me doing murals out in public, it's because I'll be doing them in my house. So <laughs> be on the lookout. <laughs> hey and what, what are you doing at home? Why are you on hiatus? I am on hiatus for a mental break for myself, but also um, I have two art shows that are coming up. The Columbia Museum of Art is showcasing me and Art Fields is showcasing me. Art Fields is taking half of my inventory, so I gotta create something for the wow. Color Museum of Art. Um, and I've wanted to be there since I was a little girl, so I'm yeah. super excited, and I just wanted to just showcase art that is truly just in depth of who I am as now, a Is person. this your first time being at the There, museum? yes, yes. Yo, we gotta cover it. That's yes. big, We gotta man. cover it. That's and it's gonna big. be in December for both of them. Okay. So I got right a lot When a circle time. gonna be in the building? <laughs> yes. For sure, for yes. sure. That's amazing, man. And um, is it gonna be like a room that's just dedicated to you or? I don't know. You don't know yet? Still figuring it out. We just I think it should. Work. I don't I think nobody else. I agree. You know, should be in the room. Well, nah, I, man, they should like dedicated room. It should just be like the Isaac Charles Gallery in the art museum <laughs> with all you've done. Because you the gotta city. think about like who but that's else. That's what it's for. The, yeah. the exhibit is for artists that um, have affected their community. So the one that they just had a, literally last weekend, mm -hmm. they were showcasing artists from other states that had done use their art to just change the culture of their city and that's why they're on the showcasing me in December for the that's same reason. Heck yeah. What were you saying, Kip? I lost my thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. Um and again, like I said, that mental break is important to take. Um mm -hmm. but when you do get back at it, do you have anything else like in mind to do? Or just what you have commission is what you're gonna go for? <sighs> Just what I have commissioned for now, because it's so much. It's so yeah. much going on. I know personally, I am um, investing in doing a traveling gallery, but that's all I can say, and I can't say nothing else. But that's what I'm working towards. Okay. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty much trying to be inventive, changing the way that I move as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, that way, I can take more rein to what's going on. Cause it's just me it. out here. Yeah, man. But it's fun. So I'm just using all this mural stuff to just invest right back into myself. So you do all this with, like, no team? You don't no. have, like, a manager, an agent, a booking, a road, nothing like that? I would love to, but I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with One Columbia because they're turning into an agency, and they've been okay. the one sponsoring my murals for the past two years. So we'll see how that goes, but no. Shout out to One Columbia, by the way. Yes, y'all are amazing. You know, make we Columbia fun. this. <laughs> Definitely. They make Columbia fun, man. They show all kinds of adventures that people don't know Columbia has. So, exactly. You know, shout out to them, too. Um, I, just, I don't know, man. It's just crazy that you have so much going on and you're one person. Yes. You know, <laughs> you wear yourself so thin, but you make it look easy, though. Mm -hmm. You know? And how do you do that? How do you make it look so easy? I mean, I would do it for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so being paid for it is just a plus. If I didn't have this as a career, I would still take this opportunity to somebody reach out. It's literally something that I was born with and I couldn't stop doing. I live and breathe it. Just like Aja art is Aja without, there is no Aja without art, just as there's no art without me. It was Ooh. what kept me here. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bars. Yeah, you go put that on the screen. Right. Yeah, it's going to say bars. <laughs> man. Dope, man. You always drop a gem every time you come here, man. Oh like, my God. Hey, dang. But, yeah. but she's the definition of like living in your passion, though. Mm -hmm. you know Absolutely. Because a lot of people that's in entrepreneurship or just want to do stuff for themselves, you know, they don't know what it is. They don't know what their passion is, but it's simply just doing something that you'll do for free anyway. Yeah, man. You know? But you're getting paid for it. Exactly. And that's exactly what that's you said. Exactly like, what you do. You know, that's you, it. You do what you love and get paid for it, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you're an artist, but like you're also somebody. Yeah. You know. So what does Isa like to do outside of drawing? Isa loves to travel. Isa loves to eat. I'm a freaking foodie. If I could live this life twice, I would be like Guy Fieri, but a vegan version, and Heck just yeah. travel the world wow. eating vegan food from different areas. So you're a vegan? Vlogging. Yes. I knew that, but mm -hmm. they and didn't I, know that, so I was just saying yeah. it for them, you know. You know, <laughs> I, you know, I knew that. And before I became an artist, I was going to be a chef. So um, oh. I actually was supposed to go to CIA in New York, but really? I got accepted to SCAD, so I was like, well, I'll just go to SCAD. 
Really? Yeah, I was supposed to be a chef, so being vegan is not that hard because I just do Louisiana cooking with a vegan twist. Ooh. Yeah. So, so like, it sounds like in the future we might have another like an Isaac Charles restaurant <laughs> coming up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right here on Main Street. Facts, you know? Oh my gosh! I bring my hot plate and everything. You can hey, whip something hey, up, man. For real? I'm with that. Mm. So, um, full vegan. So you don't eat like seafood either. Mm-mm. That's crazy. And being from Louisiana, this sucks. I miss it so much, but I make so many replacements. You really, when people eat seafood, they like the seasoning on it. So if you yes. do the seasoning right, you can fool people. I fool people all the time with my food because I was supposed to be the matriarch of my family. When mm-hmm. I was 12, they saw that, oh, Aja likes to cook. None of these other kids going to cook. So when <laughs> she get old, she going to be the one you that you go the- for Thanksgiving. I got you. So my grandmother, my grandfather, my dad, they all taught me how to cook and once I had to turn vegan, I just used those same recipes, but just switched up a chicken for a mushroom. Same batter, beer batter fried, all that. Po boys get shrimp, easy. all that. Like, yeah. We literally, we're going we gonna, we gonna to invest in this, okay? <laughs> Yanni. Yanni. I don't know, man. I like we, meat, bro. Hey, listen, bro, you got to try it, though. If you taste you it, it tastes better than regular food. If I just put that, that oh, art I, in I, it, you can it's going to get If good. you can make me a mushroom that tastes just like some chicken, you might you might convert a vegan man. You might do it. I've been able to trick my dad, and he ain't easy to work with. Yeah, so. <laughs> he'll tell you something nasty. So I I don't know, man. But I like you know if it works for you, man. Mm-hmm. And what what made you make that decision? Um, I was diagnosed with celiac, so I'm pretty much an oh. old woman now. At, at spirit, I have to watch my sugar intake, my oil intake. I can't process bread. Um. And I just cut meat completely off because it would cause, like, ulcers and stuff in my body. They actually had to do a surgery in my throat because it was so swollen from throwing up every day that water couldn't even go down. Mind you, though, I thought that this was normal. I used to throw up every day since I was a kid. So my mom was like, what are you doing? She's like, I thought you threw up after every meal. She Aww. broke down. She was like, let's go to the hospital. Wow. That's so sad. Yeah. And they just told me if I didn't switch my diet, I would have had cancer because I was on the verge of getting it in my throat because that's just oh, too man. much inflammation. All that acid and stuff. Yeah. Man. So I just changed my diet and I just, I have never been sick ever since. Yeah. Like ever. It's weird to always be in pain to not at all. That's so, crazy, man. I've been doing vegetables. this ever since. Power vegetables. <laughs> and my dad was like, God really wants you to be here. You either going to be here and live forever or they going to take you out right yeah, now. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so the fact that you're still here means you have a purpose. You I know do. what I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm glad you're living in it for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, Was there anything else that, you know, you want people to know about Isa rather than, you know, the artist Isa Charles? I'm cool. <laughs> she's, a, she's a real girl. That's that's the, that's it. Yeah, she's a real human being Definitely. out here. Definitely a real girl. I, I can tell you that. I'm right here next to her. Yeah. You know, I and you know that's sure. crazy too because people just see you online and they just see like you in freaking uh, yeah. cherry pickers and stuff exactly. painting and they'd be like they think you like some kind of machine or something. So mm-hmm. you know to know that you go through things too and you know what I'm saying you you have to take care of yourself too. Exactly. You know that humbles people definitely. Oh, I'll tell you, I'm a favorite pastime, though. What's that? Let's hear it. <laughs> I like when it rains, and we got construction going on behind our part, our, our neighborhood. So there's, like, a bunch of clay outside. When it get nice and rainy, take your shoes off and just walk in the mud. Turn on some old school. <laughs> She's different. She's talk, different. <laughs> she it just different. feels good. You and this barefoot stuff, man. Yeah. And why, why do you love being barefoot so much? My parents said I've been barefoot since I was a kid, and we're very spiritual. When you connect to the earth, you can just charge yourself up. That's why Tesla was able to take power from the ground and make lights and stuff come come on. Of course, they took all that from him. But yeah, of course. Yeah. They're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, shout out to Tesla too, by the way. You know, yeah. RIP and all that. But you was the homie, dog. You were. That direct current <laughs> was something strong, bro. Yes. But uh, so like basically being barefoot keeps you grounded mm-hmm. in a way. You being one with the, I, I feel you. I understand that. I just love nature, so I I'll be, I'll be out there. <laughs> hey, so when you get to New York, are you gonna like go to Central Park and like grab berries off the trees and just start? Yes. Drunk stuff? Yes, yes. Y'all gonna see a lot of this art everywhere. Yeah. And one of my favorite chefs that um, I've always wanted to meet if I had my restaurant, mm-hmm. I'm gonna meet him there. 
I'm at his restaurant and I'm going to tell him about my story, just how I wanted to um, be have a Michelin star restaurant, but ended up becoming an artist. But it's still it's just as successful. And yeah. um, Food Network wants me to come. Shut up. Listen here. Shut up. Let's, let's, let's cut okay, interview yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> Food Network wants me to come and do a pumpkin carving. For their cup pumpkin show, because I do it really? every year and it keeps going viral. So, oh my god, it was gosh. American Eagle last year who wanted me to do their um pumpkin carving for a commercial, mm-hmm. but this year it's who did never. you do that? Yeah, I did that. It's on my page, really. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what's up, man. But you know, not to brag, but you know, I, I carved the pumpkin too. It's, it's, in, it's, it's in front of my house if you ever want to, <laughs> you guys ever want to see it. That's like you a know. baby pumpkin that's out there, <laughs> like. My bad, dog. Come on, man. It's maturing, though. You yeah, know, man. It's growing up. Grow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. That's what's up, though. And then um, I saw that pumpkin, too, with all the, like, stars and stuff. How long yeah. did it take you to make that? Uh, maybe two hours. That's it? Yeah. Now, see, now yeah. I feel bad because it took me two hours to cut the little smiley face out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's all good, though. You're a pro. Yes. Um, I don't know, Isaac, man. That's all I really wanted to to ask you you know yeah. for now mm-hmm. um whenever you get this bridge thing done though oh my gosh it's gonna be so cool y'all are gonna have fun going through that side of town it's <laughs> so crazy man like you can't go down any block within like the next three cities without mm-hmm. seeing a, an eyes mural exactly. you know so you know that's just crazy but this this bridge thing has me how are you gonna do it do you even know all you need is a um is a boom lift and a bunch of paint <laughs> and get up there. What the world? So and they're gonna, gonna the- cut the they're gonna cut the street off, so nobody's gonna be able to go. And it's three panels but double sided, so it's six murals, mm-hmm. and then the top side of both sides is gonna say head west. Um, it's best in the west, so it's gonna oh, be really that's cool. Funny. That's, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. And see, when I hear, I, I was thinking you're gonna be like suspended, like some James Bond stuff, oh, like no, 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 you know, climbing down the wall mm-hmm. and like no, nothing Not like that. Not Spider Man. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't put up past you, you know. No. <laughs> um, and you said yeah, something at the Colonial Center too. Oh yes, we just released our Don Saley um, memorial piece. I did it for Aja Wilson um, when they did the giant statue. Yeah. They did one for Don Staley, so I designed a mural for her. So if you go to Colonial Life Arena, you'll be able to see it right at the front air entrance area where you go inside. So it's just huge, huge, huge. It's just released yesterday, so I'm I actually think you going need to there like a today. like have a list of all your mural locations. They're actually most of them. Let's do a scavenger hunt. Trying to keep it up, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get a scavenger That's great. Going on. She's finishing murals before she can update her site. Right, bro. right. <laughs> That's true. Every day. Yeah, man. And that's what's up, Isaac. Thank you for coming out, man. Sure, of course. Sure. Was anything else you wanted to say before we wrap it up? Life owes you no understanding. Live the best that you can and just be you because can't nobody do that better than you. Oh, there it is, there man. Is. Miss Nola Cola herself, the Monet <laughs> of the Midlands, the Da Vinci of the Metro. Isaac, thank you once again. Absolutely. This is another edition of Winter Circle Show Straight Goals, No Chaser. We out no. here. Peace. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Winter Circle here once again, man. If you hey. like this video, um, like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. We need the likes. All we need the them. likes. All of them. We need all the likes, man. We trying also to get... comment. Yeah, comment as well, I man. We engage with you. We're trying to get in the algorithm, bro. <laughs> like, legitly, we're trying to make this an official channel. <laughs> yeah, man. So, like, just like and subscribe and everything. And when the next video comes out, you'll be the first to know. Hey. Peace. Uh, man, this is Yanni again with Winter Circle, Winter Circle TV, and Straight Goes No Chaser, man. Hey. Um, and once again, if you like this video, I hope you like and subscribe. And if you want to be a part of our interview series, Straight Goes No Chaser, um, just send us an email, uh, comment on the YouTube page, or uh, send us a message on DMs. Facebook or Instagram, man. Just let us know, and we'll be glad to have you on the Slide show. Slide in them DMs, man. <laughs> Slide in them DMs, because we want to talk to you, man. We want to engage with other people in the community and. This platform is not just for us. It's for y'all, too. So Yeah, man. So let's grow together. Let's do it.